Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Welcome back. Today we're having a look at Pythagoras' Theorem. So basically guys, what is Pythagoras' Theorem? Pythagoras' Theorem is something that the great Pythagoras found out about 2,000 years ago. And this was that the longer side on a right-angled triangle, that value squared was equal to the squares of the other two sides. So I understand this might seem a bit confusing, but I'm going to give you some short examples and I'm sure you'll work it out and understand it pretty quickly. Okay guys, so now we're having a look at how to solve for C in a right angle triangle. So this is where Pythagoras' theorem actually comes into action. As you can see, we have a right angle triangle here. This is a right angle. And we have the values of 3 here and 4 here. Now using Pythagoras', Pythagoras theorem, we actually can work out the value of C. Now, how we do this is by first looking at the theorem. So, Pythagoras' theorem can be written out in one simple formula, formula, and that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a is less than or equal to b, which is less than or equal to c. So, what I'm saying is that that's a right now. In, the, in our case, the 3 is a, the 4 is b, and obviously c is the unknown variable. So, how are we going to work this one out? Well, we're going to have to use a little bit of algebra and also just the basics of the Pythagoras Pythagorean theorem. So what I'm going to start off by doing is rearranging this equation. So I'm going to have c at the start. So as we know, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm just going to rearrange that and having c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So let's just um, put the numbers in now. So c squared equals um, a squared, which is 3, and therefore that's 9, plus 16, which is obviously b squared, and 4 squared is 16. So we know c squared is 9 plus 16. So c squared is 25, and therefore c is equal to 5. So in this case, the hypotenuse. Remember, this, this big side is known as the hypotenuse on a right angled triangle. So the hypotenuse in this right angled triangle has a value of 5. And I'm just letting you know, guys, this is actually a really great example to start with. This is known as the 3, 4, 5 triangle. It has the values of 3 and 4 on the other two sides and 5 as the hypotenuse. Alrighty, guys, so now we're having a look at a second example. Now, in this case, we're actually going to be solving for B as opposed for the hypotenuse. Now, just once again to recap, this is indeed a right angle here. So, I as I hope you guys all remember, I guess, um, the formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're going to apply this and do a little bit of rearranging to work out the value of b. So, the first thing I'm going to start off with is just rewrite the formula, but we have to substitute in the values. So, we that leaves us with 5 squared, which is a is 5, plus b squared, b is unknown, so we're just going to leave it as b squared, equals 13 squared, seeing as the hypotenuse is 13. Okay, next we're just going to do the squares, 25, 5 squared of course, plus b squared, we're going to keep that the same, because it's still unknown, equals 169. So, what I'm going to do is, I want to have b on its own on one side, so I'm going to get rid of 25 here, and I'm going to flip 25 over to here, and of course, seeing as it's positive on this side, it's going to be negative on this side. So we're now left with b squared equals 169 minus 25. So b squared equals 144. And now the last thing we have to do is just find the square root of 144. And I know that's 12. So therefore, we've just successfully worked out that the value of b is indeed 12. So actually, guys, um, that is it. Um, I hope Pythagoras' theorem, you understand it now. Um, I guess the best way to you know keep learning, I guess, is just do a bit of practice. But I'm sure you'll get it. Um, pretty soon and that's about it uh, thanks for watching I really hope you enjoyed the video if you like my content be sure to click on that subscribe button it really helps me out and I'll be sure to see each and every one of you guys next time